this week and cool, couldn't get outside and ride your bikes, ride your skateboards, road late, but you know, rain is good in the end, right? The flowers and the trees like it and the birds like it. So I like rain because in the end, it's all worth it, right? So this week, we're going to talk a little more about what we've been talking about all month and that is determination, right? because determination is deciding it's worth to finish what you started. Because you know, as we said, you can find yourselves in some sticky situations and we need to get unstuck. We have to work hard and push through to finish what we started, right? We need God's help to be able to see through to the end. So if we remember where we are in our true story in the Bible, after Jesus died, came back to life, and before he ascended to heaven, he gave his disciples a really big mission. Do you remember what that was? Right, to spread the news about him everywhere. So God gave him the Holy Spirit to the believers to help them with that job. So the news of Jesus was really starting to spread. Everybody was hearing it. And the church was getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Well, as the church got bigger, they realized there were people in the church who needed help. They needed some food, they needed help. So they said, well, we have to make sure these people are taken care of. Well, Peter had a plan. So here in the Bible, here's what his plan was. It says, so the 12 apostles gathered all the believers together. They said, it wouldn't be right for us to give up teaching God's word and we'd have to stop teaching to wait tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven of your men. They must be known as men who are wise and full of the Holy Spirit. We will turn this important work over to them. Then we can give our attention to prayer and teaching God's word. So they were looking for some men who were godly men, who loved Jesus and who made good choices. So they thought and they thought, and everybody thought of one person in the beginning of their list, and that was Stephen. So Stephen had a very big job. In our story today, we're gonna hear about what happened to Stephen. All right, see you soon. Everything I need, you are When nobody else is listening to me, you are Before my heart took its first beat, you already loved me, Lord And in your kindness, you saved me, you're all 
it's Haley again. So far this month, I have been making a lot of messes. Like, whoa. So this week, I am tackling the glory of, wait for it, duct tape. Duct tape is so mysterious to me. Like, how is it so strong and sticky at the exact same time? And there are endless uses for it. Endless. Endless. And speaking of endless, sometimes it seems like a roll of duct tape itself is endless. Let's just see how long this thing really is. How am I supposed to unroll this whole roll without getting all the tape all stuck together like this? I've got it. This is just gonna take a minute. Uh, wow, uh, I sure am stuck. So, this month we've been talking a lot about determination. Determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. In today's story, we meet a believer of Jesus named Stephen, and he was a man of brave determination. You guys enjoy the story. I'm, uh, I'm gonna figure out how to get out of all this duct tape. See you in a bit. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts. Chapters 6 and 7. Stephen was the kind of guy you'd like to have as a friend, somebody you could count on. He could tell epic true stories. So then an angel appeared to Moses in the flames of a burning bush, and he heard the Lord say, I am the God of your fathers. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Stephen was always ready to lend a hand. Hey, let me carry that for you. Or offer a word of encouragement. I know this is tough, but you've got God's spirit to help. In fact, when people needed help, everybody thought of Stephen. See, the new church was growing quickly and there were people who needed food and special care. So Peter and the apostles came up with a plan. It wouldn't be right for us to give up teaching God's word to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, choose seven of your men. They must be known as men who are wise and full of the Holy Spirit. We will turn this important work over to them. Pick Stephen. He rescued my kitten from that tall sycamore tree. He helped my family while I was sick and couldn't work in the fields. Stephen, you're in. So Stephen and six other men were chosen to help care for the new believers. God filled Stephen with special grace and power to help him do this work. Wowzers. You can see that Jesus is with him. But not everyone was impressed. Rather than choosing to be joyful at the work God was doing through Stephen, there were some people that began to argue with him. No one does something for nothing. What's in all this goody-goody act for you? My friend, Jesus said the most important thing is to love God and love others. That's all I'm doing. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, Stephen had a wise answer for every question. At last, his enemies resorted to telling lies about him. I heard Stephen speak evil things against Moses and against God. This stirred up the religious leaders. They arrested Stephen and brought him before their gathering, the Sanhedrin. I haven't done anything wrong. This fella, he speaks against the law. I heard him say that Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He says Jesus will change the practices that Moses gave to us. Everyone looked straight at Stephen, even the high priest Caiaphas. He doesn't seem upset. His face, it's like, like an angel's. <clears throat> Is what these people are saying true? Stephen looked up at the angry, accusing faces surrounding him. He knew these people could do anything they wanted, even kill him. But he also knew that no matter what, God was still with him. Brothers and fathers, Listen to me. 
Stephen wanted these leaders to understand that Jesus was no small town rebel. No, Jesus was the fulfillment of a plan that God had set in motion with Abraham so long ago. The God of glory appeared to our father Abraham. Leave your country and your people, God said. Go to the land I will show you. Stephen continued the story of God's people through Jacob and Joseph and slavery in Egypt. The religious leaders listened, transfixed, as Stephen reminded them of God's work through Moses to free the Israelites and lead them to the promised land. He spoke of David and Solomon and the building of the temple. And then he took a deep breath and came to the heart of the story. You stubborn people, you won't listen. You are just like your people of long ago. Was there ever a prophet your people didn't try to hurt? And now you have handed God's promised one, Jesus, over to his enemies. You have killed him. I can't get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. How dare you? Stephen, filled with God's spirit, stood his ground. As he looked up, God gave him a vision of heaven. I see heaven open. Jesus is standing at God's right hand. The religious leaders were so enraged, they shoved their hands over their ears and yelled so they couldn't hear another word. They rushed at Stephen. I'm telling you the truth. Rough hands grabbed Stephen and hauled him out onto the dusty stone road. A young man named Saul watched, fascinated, as the religious leaders brought Stephen outside the city walls under the scorching sun. Here, let me take care of your coats. Still filled with rage, the religious leaders left their coats with Saul. Then they began throwing stones at Stephen. And even through all this, Stephen's last words were filled with love. Lord, don't hold this sin against them. Jesus had told his followers to live out his love everywhere. And through God's power, Stephen continued to share God's love to his very last breath. got unstuck. Wasn't today's story amazing? Stephen trusted God and decided to stand strong in what he believed. Even though we don't know how it will turn out, we follow a God who does know the end of the story. We are part of God's big story. God has always had a big plan, a bigger story. Abraham didn't know the end of the story when he moved his whole family to a new land. And Moses didn't know what would happen either after leading the people out of Egypt. Now, we know the other side of the story with how God sent Jesus to ultimately save the whole world. And Stephen was one person who continued to follow Jesus and speak up about him, even when he didn't know what would happen to him. Sometimes there are things you're gonna go through where you can't see the end of the story, but God does. When things are really hard and feel awful and you just wanna give up, talk to God. Talk to an adult you trust about how you're feeling. You don't have to try to do things alone. Everyone will have different things that are hard, like losing a grandparent, or your parents getting into a fight, or maybe you're having trouble making friends. It's hard when we don't know how things will turn out in the end. But the one thing to remember today is this. Keep going because God knows the end of the story. You know what I need to keep going at? My explorations with duct tape! Hmm, what should I make first? A bookmark! Perfect! Ta-da! <gasps> Boom. Crushed it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Hey guys! Wow, what a story. You know, it's one of those stories that it seems sad, and it is sad, but in the inside, there's some really good news, right? So Stephen was, had been falsely accused. He, would, he faced death for believing in Jesus. But Stephen's very last words were filled with love. Let's read those words again. This is in Acts 7, 59-60. While the members of the Sanhedrin were throwing stones at Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. He said, and then he fell on his knees. He cried out, Lord, don't hold the sin against them. When he said this, he died. 
Jesus had told his followers to show love everywhere. And through God's power, Stephen continued to share God's love even to his very last breath. That's amazing. I know this is very sad to end of the story, but here's the thing. It really wasn't the end of Stephen's story because when we read the Bible, we realize that Stephen went to be with Jesus. Stephen could be brave and keep going even when he knew his life was in danger because he knew that at the end, his life wasn't the end of his story. He knew that God was in control and that no matter what, he'd be able to be in heaven with God forever. You and I don't know how things are going to end either, but one thing we do know is that we can keep going because we know that God knows the end of the story. Let's say that together. Keep going because God knows the end of the story. That's incredible. And let's see, remember our verse. Kind of reinforces that because that's hard to do, right? To not be afraid to remember that God knows the end of the story and not be worried because we don't know the end of the story. That takes determination. So our verse this month, let's remember, is let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop, and if we don't give up, Galatians 6, 9. Now, don't forget to read our Facebook Kids page for a very special challenge about that verse, okay? So, let's remember, today, we can keep going because God knows the end of our story. So, let's say our prayer. Dear God, the story about Stephen is kind of hard to hear, especially if we don't keep in mind the end of the story. But Stephen was able to keep going because he knew he would be able to be with you forever. Whatever we might face in this life, we know we can keep going because you know the end of the story. Please help us trust you and remember that you are always in control. We love you and pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks, guys. See you next week.